Alrighty guys, Iron Auditor back at you one more time today. I'm going to be going into the uh, Lawrence County Sheriff's Department and serving some paperwork here. And just to make it clear, I know there was some confusion on the last one. People thought I was like serving a, a, a lawsuit, but that's not what it is. It's, it's a letter of intent. So um, this is a letter uh, requesting this is uh, requesting the immediate return of personal property is listed there as a Motorola Edge Plus. Um, this is to Sheriff Lawless and uh, it's a formal demand for um, Kent Freeman to get his his property back. That is the gentleman that y'all saw in the video who was uh, who was tased in his own home and uh, and again wh while I'm thinking about it I, I want to make something really really clear that there are two different Spalgerics in this town. One, one is a a uh, sergeant, as you've seen in my videos. He's a sergeant um, for the Ironton Police Department. The other Spalgeric is a deputy sheriff. And where in this small town we have, of course, our own police department, but the our county seat is here as well. And because of that, we have our county courthouse and our county sheriff office here as well with our jail. So. Uh, uh, I think a lot of people are confusing the uh, the fact that there are two different um, Spalgerics. I've been told that they're brothers. Uh, I don't know that to be a fact, but that, that's what I'm told. Um, anyway, uh, just make sure that, that you understand that there is a deputy sheriff uh, sheriff with the name of Spalgeric and also the uh, sergeant with the Ironton Police Department who is, who is an officer with the police department. So just to clear up any confusion out there. And uh, anyway, this is... Uh, to Sheriff Lawless, it is a formal demand for the immediate return of personal property, as you see there, and uh, says on the off chance that they're unaware of the specific item, it was seized, and it gives the date Saturday, January the 22nd of, of 2022. Um, he was arrested by, and again, that's Deputy Sheriff Paul Jarek, not not the one that was in my video. Um, that was uh, at his home in South Point, and. Uh, so they have no valid factual evidence to support a claim that the uh, that the phone is contraband and therefore it is unlawful possession of the property and they are in active breach of constitutional protections uh, first and 14th amendments to the Constitution so we are going to go in and, and uh, excuse me sorry guys I need another hand um, He has, where is the, uh, there it is, I can get a hold of it there. He has uh, named me, of course, Terry Nip, to take possession if they'll give it back to me. Um, we'll see here in a minute. I, I don't know if they're going to do that or not, but I'm going to keep you with me as I head into the Sheriff's Department and uh, and serve them with this paperwork. So if you all give me just a second here, I'll, I'll get out of the car and, and we'll make our way down there to get that done. So we'll be working on that right now. My window rolled up here. Maybe I will. Guys, you're getting a good look at the door. Uh, get out of this car. Oh, there we go. back here it's hard to find parking next to the to the jail and the sheriff station so we're gonna have to walk from here how you doing today good. beautiful day isn't it yes, so we'll see if they'll give it back I, I don't know if they will or not haven't heard any more from the uh, Ironton Police Department about Chili's phone. I will call them 
tomorrow and see what I can find out about that. And again, guys, I know some people are not happy with my particular brand of auditing, and that's okay. Um, you may not even consider me an auditor, and that's okay too. I don't mind. Just know that I'm out here to be a watchman. That is what I'm doing. <clears throat> there are other people working on the the accusations and the uh, the purported crimes that have happened um, against the citizens and things, and and I'm going to stay out of their way and let them do their work. But what uh, what my job is is to make sure that the law enforcement and the citizens know that I'm out here watching and hopefully as I do it and other people join me um, anybody that would try to break the law violate the rights all that kind of stuff that they'll know that we're watching and they'll be less at and less likely to do that so here we go tiny little place here Yes, ma'am, I have some paperwork for the sheriff. Is there someone that could take it? Um, I can take it, put it in the box. Hello, and, and what's your name, ma'am? Um, for the unit record, 79 Bowens. Unit 79 Bowens. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Is that officer or deputy? No, I'm, I'm sorry. Dispatcher. Gotcha. Just want to make sure I've got it correct. Thank All you right. very much. You're welcome. All right, guys, there we have it. Of course, I couldn't get an officer here, unfortunately. A deputy, I mean. So it's taken by the dispatcher. It is now in, and so I assume that uh, I assume that he'll get that first thing in the morning. How you doing today, sir? But they are now served. I don't know. Say they're probably not going to release it to me any faster than they released Chili's phone to me, but hopefully they will get a hold of Kent and uh, and at least release it to him. So anyway, I tried to go live, guys. It's still not working. I don't know why. I hit the button on my PC last night. It said I uh, had to wait 24 hours. It's now been that. I'm not sure why it won't go yet, but uh, you know, maybe I have to hit another button on the PC instead of this phone. That's what happened the first time. So I'll have to find that out when I get back to the house. Of course, it's not as easy to carry around a PC as it is a, a phone. But uh, I will get this figured out. And sooner or later, we will be able to go live and, and you will see me there. And uh, until then, I guess it's uh, that's the end of that. That was... Uh, the dispatcher Bowens, 69, and uh, I guess that's it for now, guys. I'll I'll catch you on the flip side. Ironton Auditor out.